You are watching Center Stage, and our next two episodes are on an instrument that is not traditionally considered Chinese. I'm your host, Helen Fung, and like many children growing up throughout the world, I too once sat on top of textbooks with my legs dangling off the bench to reach this instrument's 88 ivory keys. If you haven't yet guessed what our next two shows of Center Stage are on, well, they're on the piano, the unique piano compositions written by Chinese composers in the last century. So without further ado, let's start the show. The piano, or pianoforte, came about as a natural evolution of instruments that first emerged in its modern form in 1709 in Europe. During the 18th century and centuries following, a wealth of music was written for this instrument by countless composers, including a few little-known composers such as Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. But all the way until the last century, the piano remained a completely foreign object to China, with very few pianos in the country and few who knew how to play it. In the beginning of the 20th century, Chinese universities universities organized studies on the appreciation of Western music that would not only bring piano music to China, but open the doors to piano composition. In 1934, Russian composer Alexander Chechepin organized the first piano competition in Shanghai, highlighting the works of Chinese composers. He Luting won first prize at the competition with his impressionistic work describing the scenes of nature and life in South China. So naturally, we start our show with the first award-winning piano composition by a Chinese composer, a piece called The Young Shepherd and His Flute. What's special with this piece is that the composer, He Lu Ding, he was a student at that time, he tried to combine uh, Chinese traditional music uh, characteristics with Western composition technique. For instance, the polyphonic style, counterpointer technique, uh, the first and the third
Chalutin, the composer of The Young Shepherd and His Flute that you just heard, would go on to become one of the most renowned composers of his era, composing in his career scores for several famous films and serving as a president for the Shanghai Conservatory for many decades. So it was no surprise that at that competition in 1934, his compositions not only won him the first prize award, but the second prize as well, the piece called Lullaby. Let's take a listen. He wrote this lullaby in two four rhythm. One, two, one, two. But we know usually now we have some bassists that are in six eight tempo, not tempo, meter, six eight. But he wrote it in two four. But I thought perhaps he got some inspiration from Greek. Mm -hmm. 